Hello everyone, it's Lindy. It's Thursday. It's our weekly update day. Um, it has been an eventful week. Um, not good on the scale, but I'm owning up to it because I've made my own choices and unfortunately I was not doing well with my eating this week. Um, I, f I wasn't prepared. Let's just put it to that. So we all know the power of prepping and planning and being prepared for the whole week and it's it really shows when you aren't prepared um we were so busy last week that I planned my dinners but we didn't get to a chance to get a full grocery shop in because we were so busy finishing the backyard and stuff around the house and we've just been picking up stuff as we've needed it each night for dinners so I wasn't fully prepared um, and it definitely showed. Um, I didn't have anything for lunch. So it was like, I'll just pick whatever I have in the house, which was not good choices. It was processed crap, craft dinner or um, just junk. So um, everything was tracked. I tracked everything. I accounted for my points. Most days I had a blue dot, but... It just still wasn't the best choices and it led me down the path of binging or wanting something at night and my nighttime snacking came back into full force. It was insane. Um, so I actually put a post out on my Facebook group asking for some lunch suggestions, which I got amazing, amazing suggestions. So Rosie gave me a really good suggestion because I know I've told you guys all this for a while that I am not a salad person. I can't, I love salads, but I am not somebody that will jump, oh, I'm going to make a salad for dinner or a salad for lunch. It's not, and a lot of the times I'm not fully satisfied with them. So Rosie actually gave me a great idea, which was one of the lunch ideas was to, on your weekend, when you're already prepping, prep items that go into a salad. So it's already chopped up and sitting there. And then each day, all you got to do is add your stuff to your bowl and you can make a nice variety of what you want to add. It doesn't have to be the same thing every day. So I think I'm going to get back to that. So part of my prepping this week is going to be doing my fruit and veggie trays again, which I'm going to do two separate this week. Austin hates these in the fridge because they take up so much room, but they help me big time. And if I can have a separate veggie tray with everything already chopped that will help going towards salads or dinner prep or any kind of even just snacking, it will already be readily available. And I'm going to do my fruit tray as well because you guys all know I love fruit at almost all meals. And it's also another great snack for at night. If I'm feeling snacky, I should just go to the fridge and grab my fruit and veggie trays, have it there with me beside me on my on the couch. So that is what my plan is for this week. Um, I'm also going to do some more hard boiled eggs, um, making sure I've got my cottage cheese and just everything fully stocked in the fridge and, and pantry because I really need these better choices. And I feel like a broken record. And I know so many people will say we're all we all go through this. But I just feel like I've, I've been saying since for a little while now, my mindset is here. It is here, but I really need to rein it in so it's fully 100% focused because I want it. I want this and I need this. Um, I'm actually dealing with, it's not a knee injury because I don't even know what the heck happened. Um, but two nights ago, I started feeling like pulsing in my kneecap and it was just such a strange feeling and then yesterday it was almost like it was grinding and clicking so I actually took yesterday not fully off I did get a small walk around the block just to get the mail um but I didn't do my full walk yesterday um and I have been icing my knee today but I did get my walk in today but I went at a slower pace I and I was going to take today off my 365 days of walking really holds me accountable and this is where I see it because I do know that I need to rest this but at the same time I know that if I actually take full days off I'm not going to get back with it that's just how I work that's 
Unfortunately, that's how I am. If I'm off, I'm off. So I needed to, I, I went for my regular walk today, but I walked at a very much slower pace. Um, a lot of people say I walk fast. I don't see it, but so I took it slower and it did feel better. There were a couple times where I did feel it on certain ways that I turned my leg, but um, I, I'm icing it and uh, I'm going to continue to ice it at nighttime as well. And if it doesn't get better, I will go to the doctors, but I'm almost convinced it's just weight related um, because it's got pressure on it. So, um, but yeah, my, uh, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to get back to. I was actually up 1.6. This 1.6 I feel is taunting me because it's either up or down for the last four weeks. 1.6. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am I really need to rein this in and I really need to take focus. Um, I know what my issue is, is. My issue was I was not planned. I was not, I was not prepared for this week. I did not do my proper shop. I did not fill up my fridge. So I know that that is something. And actually, um, I I post weekly my meal planning um, chart that I do every week and it helps me with my grocery shop and keep me I'm a list writer. I literally, I write a list every single day, whether it's on paper, on my phone, anywhere. And it, it really holds me accountable. I need to have those things to be able to physically check off. Um, and actually Mel asked a couple weeks ago if me doing my dinner planning on my weekly thing holds me accountable. A hundred percent. Immediately I answered a hundred percent. I would be lost without it. And I was lost this week. I d even though I did write that, I didn't actually fully execute it. I have my grocery list and I didn't get everything that I needed. So um, it, it definitely, I need to have that to keep me on track. So um, little things, everybody's different. Everybody has their own thing that will keep them on track and keep them prepared for the week. So um, this I know is something that 100% keeps me on track. So. I got a new cup. If you aren't on my Facebook group, you didn't see this, but Amber made me this beautiful, it's the new mason jar cups that she has. This holds 17 ounces. So I count this as two glasses every time. So I'm having one of these at every meal and then about two or three more between meals. Um, like one right when I first get up, one before bed, one throughout the day. Um, I drink water constantly. So um, this, I always have to change up my cups. I find I get bored of the straw or the cup itself, or I don't know. I have so many cups in this house. It's unbelievable. But anyways, how is everybody doing? How is your week going? We are on week four of our summer challenge. Um, is everybody tracking? Anybody need help with their trackers? Let me know. Um, if you are not part of it, by all means, you can join at any time. Um, I do have it posted on my Facebook group. As always, it's at the bottom. Um, Stitch and Lindy's Weight Loss Journey. Um, but yeah, that was my week. We are going out for date night tomorrow. I'm so excited. We are going for dinner and we are going to see one, I think it's called. I don't know. Austin picked the movie. It's a movie um, that actually looks really good. Um, so we're going, we're going to do that tomorrow night. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can make some good choices when we're eating out. There's quite a few different places and options around the movie theaters. So um, I'm uh, looking forward to it. We haven't, we've still been able to go out for dinners during this pandemic, but the movies we have missed, which I never thought that we would because we watch a lot of movies at home. And there's a lot of movies that we constantly say we would never see it in theaters. There's, it has to be certain ones, but just the joy of going out to that movie theater, uh, we've missed it. So I'm really looking forward to it. So tomorrow night is our movie night. So we are going to enjoy ourselves. Um, but yeah, 
I hope you guys all had a great week. What are you guys working on? What's your goals for this week? My goal is to prep, plan, stock up that fridge. So that is my goal for this week. Let me know what yours is. How did you do on the scale this week? Any challenges, successes? Let me know. Drop a comment below. If you are new, new to my channel, please subscribe. I do um, post weekly videos of my weekly weigh-in. Sometimes we might get into a recipe video. Um, I really do need to get back to doing those. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all had a great week. Thanks for watching.